So I wanted to cover a feature that I really don't think is used enough, and it's the Generate Cross-Section tool. I'll show you a couple ways you can use it. The first is, if you already have your implants planned, you can simply hit your cross-sectional tool, and you'll see a few different things. There's panoramic, arch, temporal bone cross-section, and implants. It's defaulted to implants because we've got some planned already. You can also see the cross-sectional views in your panoramic view. And the dotted line represents the area in which you're producing those slices and the angle in which you have those slices. You can see on the left-hand side over here, number of slices and the spacing. So one millimeter spacing and then the integration, the thickness. That's basically uh, each of those slices, how thick or thin are each of the slices that you're actually looking at. This is the intervals, and this is how they're actually viewed. This is actually going to give you nine slices per implant with one millimeter cuts. If you wanted more per implant, you can just highlight and select 15, or whichever number you want. You'll notice that the distance of each of these areas automatically increases. So you can change this back to nine, and you'll see the views get more narrowed again. At this point, all you have to do is select Review. So you can see what this automatically generated for you. So we have nine slices for this particular implant, and I'll also show you how you can view the nine slices for the other implant. It automatically generates those slices per implant you've treatment planned. So we can do a few different things. One is we can change this from slide to zoom. I can zoom in on each of these slices if I wanted to, change it back to slide. I can look at all nine slices in one view, or I can change this to a one. And now I'm using my mouse wheel as long as it's on slide. And I'm just scrolling through each of those nine slices. And you can see here, each slice is changing as I scroll. If you zoomed in on this implant, you can actually see the numbers and which number slice we're looking at. So as I scroll through, I'm looking at slice 14, where we can identify that slice 14 is right here. So it gives you some really nice orientations with all of these views. So where are the other slices for the other implant? At this point, all you have to do is go to the gallery, and you'll see here that each of the implant views has these little layers showing that it's uh, giving you a cross-sectional report from each of these slices. So if you want to bounce back and forth between implants to view their slices, you can just double click on the icon that has these multiple layers. All I'm doing is double clicking, and now I'm seeing the nine slices for the other implant. And I can do the same exact thing. I can look at you know, rows of two, rows of five, or whatever I want to do. And you can go back and forth between both of those slices. So for example, if you are looking at your regular views under the curve slicing tab during surgery or for a case presentation, once you create those cross-sectional views, all you have to do is go to the gallery and then double click on whichever implant you want. It opens your views up into the review tab. You can see that there. So very easily, you can look at those views or the other implant. So what else can you do in the, these views? Well, you can actually take measurements, multiple measurements, that actually stay to the individual slices. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, I can take a measurement anywhere. That measurement now stays attached to that individual slice. Maybe I want to take another measurement over here. 
and also visualize you know, uh, how much bone reduction I need to do. Well, contrarily, if I'm in my normal curved slicing tab and I take a measurement of 13.7 millimeters, when I move my cross-sectional view somewhere else, that 13.7 millimeter measurement kind of comes with me where it becomes difficult to take measurements in multiple areas of the scan for future reference. What the review tab does, like I explained, is those measurements now stay attached to each individual slice. So if you close your software, the next time you actually go into the software to open up your scan, after you've already treatment planned, it becomes very, very easy to see everything that you've done with just a couple of clicks and not full manipulation of the software. So you can see it will default launch to my curve slicing tab. At this point, if I want to see everything I created from those cross-sectional reports, I just open the gallery. And I've, again, I have these two areas or these two images with multiple layers. I can double click on one of them. It opens up those slices from the report in the review tab, just like I showed you before. If I want to view the other implant, I just double click on the other implant and it opens up all those slices with all the individual measurements I've already created attached to each individual slice. I think it can be very powerful for communication with patients uh, as well as reminders for yourself during surgery. The other way to use the tool is when you don't have implants treatment planned already, but you still want to create that report for the slices. So I'm going to hide the implants and select my generate cross-section tool down below. So in this case, you'll see that the implant icon or the implant view is grayed out. I'll want to use the arch temporal bone cross-section over here. So instead of the areas automatically being selected based on the implants you've already placed, you're going to customize the view yourself. And I can customize the area, and I can customize the angle. You'll notice that the slice count automatically moves as I make this area larger or smaller. You can see here it's now 17. I can make it smaller around this area to 10. Slice spacing is, can be the same integration can be the same and I will select the review icon right here at this point to generate my you know nine or ten slices or however many I want I'll have to do the same thing for the second area so again I'll go down to generate cross-section tool customize where I want these views to be And select the review tab. So now, just like before, but without the implants, I have two areas that I can go back and forth and look at. Here's the last two I created, and here's the first two I created with the implants. Mm -hmm.